welcome back to my channel. This is Toya from the Classy Sassy Life. Today is a monthly setup in my mini happy planner. I decided that I wanted to pull a month from um, my Soft Geos planner. I haven't used it yet and it's one of my favorite planners but Sugar and Spice was like number one and I really wish I would have gotten the Sugar and Spice um, classic size planner um, but I did not. So anyway, I'm going into May and I'm just going to grab that. That is my favorite um, divider, guys. Um, so anyway, I am going to put in May and I'm gonna go ahead and I've already removed May from the Sugar and Spice Planner. So um, I love the setup in the dashboard itself. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I am using a set letter pen that I purchased from Amazon and I will post the link down below. Um, they were super cheap. I think it was a pack of 20 for $5.99. So I will definitely leave a link down below. So what I am doing is just filling out my dashboard and my dashboard says, um, I'm reading textbooks because I'm starting school. I'm planning spreads, watching Quantico because I gotta get caught up on that, dreaming of a successful weight loss, feeling blessed and always listening to Audible. So the next thing I'm doing is grabbing my alphabet sticker book or alpha sticker book and I am putting down the numbers two and the number six for birthdays. Um, my theme this week has been focused on my son's birthday it is on Wednesday and he has a party on Saturday. So I've been kind of sticking with like a gold theme in all of my planners. So um, you're gonna see me do a lot of decorating on Wednesday in my mini and in my classic size planner. So I'm also putting down some important dates that I don't need to forget, like school starting on the 14th. The happy planner deadline is on the 18th. I cannot forget that, guys. I'm so nervous about it, um, but I'm gonna do my best. And I'm also putting down the number 14 so I can indicate that school starting on that day. Okay, and then I'm also going to put down the number five. I just decided to add it and just let it take up two spaces, even though I cannot forget that Jackson's birthday party is on Saturday because I'm constantly planning it this week and doing things for it, but I still wanted to write that down. So the next thing um, I'm going to do is look at my monthly goals and I was just thinking here about what I wanted to place there. So the first thing I want to work on is a time schedule um, for cleaning like what days I'm going to do cleaning. If you guys want to see me do that um, live just give this video a thumbs up. Um, also I need to be studying. I want to earn two A's in my first two classes. I want to um, make sure that I'm reading and I want to start Bible journaling as well as memory planning this month. So be on the lookout for that. So that's it for the dashboard. Now it's time to decorate the actual monthly pages. I do like the soft geos just because it's really um, nice and soft colors and so it's a palette that you can build on versus um, sometimes you're unable to. So right there, I just showed you all of my mini uh, sticker book collection and that's what I'm going to be using um, there. And I'm not even sure why I did that with my hands, guys. So just forget that. So anyway, I'm going through and just looking for some inspiration for uh, this planner. And I love this box with this confetti on there because I wanted to give this a really live and popping color. And so that those boxes will fit on the side under the notes in your mini edition happy planner. So if you guys have not used that for your mini, that's one thing that you can do. And then I grabbed this last big sticker and it was just turned sideways in the sticker book and it went perfectly with what I wanted um, my planner to look like. And so I tried to stick with that um, polka dot theme. I put a little bit um, of florals in close to Mother's Day, but you'll see that in a moment. So the next thing I did was grab this um, like weekend banner and I blocked off um, Friday and Saturday just because those are going to be the two busiest days this week because um, we are party planning. 
And then I was flipping through, looking for those tiny boxes there to put in my planner. So at first I put down this little polka dot and then I didn't really like the way that it looked because when I flipped the page, I came across something else. And then these two colors, though they match the theme, I decided I wanted to do something different. So as you can see, I am pulling up that polka dot and laying down the confetti sticker on the 18th because that's the deadline for submitting your Happy Planner application. Um, and I found this really pretty floral um, to indicate that that's the first day of school. And it's also Mother's Day that Sunday. so. I definitely wanted to indicate that and then I grabbed this other confetti box because my son has his one year doctor's appointment on that day. So the next thing I pulled out was my mini basics because it has everything. You guys don't know my love for the basic sticker book. That's the one sticker book that I suggest all newbies start with, the planner basics. Um, and I will be doing part two in my mini series this week so look for that telling you the things that I think that you should purchase for new planners. So then I grabbed this doctor's appointment um, sticker and I used this like teal color because it, it matched the um, laugh big. And then I went looking for the first day of school stickers. I have tons of loose stickers laying around that I am going to combine in a sticker book soon guys. And I'm gonna do it on camera because I had a great idea. Um, so anyway, as you can see, that's my whole stack. And I found the sticker that I was looking for and it says first day of school and it's this hot pink. So it went perfect with the florals that I chose um, for that day. So the next thing that I did was go through the mini basics and go to my holidays. And I put down Mother's Day as well as Memorial Day. Now, I, I was going to put down Cinco de Mayo, but since that is the day that we're going to do my son's birthday party, I decided not to use that, but instead use a birthday sticker. The last sticker that you're going to see me lay down at the end of the month says everything is going to be okay. I tied in some purple from my confetti. Um, thanks so much, guys, for watching this. And to all of my subscribers, thank you so much for your support. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for, guys? Keep God first in everything you do. Give this video a thumbs up. And as always, plan a classy and sassy life, guys. Bye.